Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and I'm so excited because today I am finally doing an apartment tour. <laughs> My husband and I actually bought an RV about a year and two, three, four months ago. Honestly, <laughs> I can't remember. October of 2019, I think. I don't even remember. But anyway, we bought an RV that we traveled in last year because my husband does play baseball professionally. So we are constantly having to move. Things took a turn just like different. The season didn't happen as it was supposed to play out. And so, yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. And if you're new here, I'm 23 weeks pregnant with our first baby. I say that like I'm already planning for another baby, which I kind of am in a way. But anyway, also husband's in the other room playing video games. He's going to help me with this video today. But just if you hear him, just ignore him. I have to do that all the time. I want to talk about how we found this apartment. So we were living in the RV. The season ended. We moved to Georgia back where my husband is from. We found out I was pregnant. And then that kind of made us start thinking about our living situation. Are we going to want to be in the camper with a baby? All of that stuff. So we decided to sell our camper. It is available, it's for sale if you're interested. I'll put that in the description if you are interested. We are very happy to transition into the apartment life and we absolutely love this apartment we're in right now. My husband wanted to come to Birmingham, Alabama to be able to train for the upcoming season because spring training is literally right around the corner. It starts next month. So crazy to me. I feel like this off season has gone by so fast. We started looking for apartments and quickly realized why we decided to buy the RV in the first place because we forgot how difficult it is to be in an apartment and find a place that is furnished, that is a short term lease, that allows dogs. It's just all the things. So we started looking. Every time we looked at apartments, we kept seeing this company called Landing. And I want to just share a little bit about the company with you guys because we are so excited we found this company. It has made this past the past two weeks of being here so easy and we'll be here until the middle of February and then we plan on being in landing apartments up until we get a house for sure because this has been such an awesome experience. We started looking into it more and we realized like this is literally what we've been looking for since he got drafted and we were looking at like renting places but we never found it. Another huge thing for us was we needed a place that was furnished because number one, I have a Chevy Cruze, which is a tiny little car. And then Taylor has this truck, but with all of his like baseball equipment, golf bag, boy things, you know, there was no way we were going to be able to furnish a place unless we did like a rent a center type thing and just rent furniture from a company. We started reaching out to this company just saying, hey, we're interested in living in Birmingham for about five weeks. You know, what does that look like? What are the fees? What are the utilities? What is this? Like, what are we missing? Because this seems too good to be true. This company landing has apartments in 74 of the major cities. So literally everywhere. So we decided that we definitely wanted to go ahead and look into living in a landing apartment. So we really knew we wanted furnished with high speed internet and all of the ones that we found online had high speed internet. Some were furnished, some were unfurnished. You get to choose on the website. So it pulls up, you know, only the ones that you're looking for. So we put in furnished and we found this apartment along with several other ones, but this one came with a king bed, which is like, I mean, come on, who wouldn't want a king bed? I love a king bed. I like reach over in the middle of the night and I can extend my entire arm and I can't touch him. I can't feel Taylor. I don't know where he is, which I like, but then like as we're falling asleep, I'm always like wanting to cuddle. And then I like roll over five times to go to my side to go to sleep. You know, everyone I feel like does that. It had a king size bed. So we're like, yes, this is perfect. We're gonna do this and it was furnished about like i think like 90 percent it's like 96 percent or something crazy they allow dogs so they're pet friendly and we were like okay this is a no-brainer and when i mean furnished i mean furnished top to bottom as in designer furniture all of this behind me the lamps the tv the dresser the bedding 
I'll show you everything when we do the tour, but everything is furnished, utensils, cups, coffee maker. We literally just had to bring our clothes essentially and we were good to go. And we love that we're able to transfer as long as you give them a 30 day notice. For us, for instance, because we move around so often with baseball, it allows us to put in our 30 day notice and we can transfer to another landing, affiliated home, apartment, whatever, as long as we put in that notice. They also have a getaway program. So get this, okay, it already seems too good to be true, right? I know we were the same way coming into this not even knowing what to expect because we've been in an RV for a year We haven't been renting and when people say something's furnished you expect like mediocre Furnishings you just don't expect all like the fancies that they have included in this apartment Okay, so this getaway program is so awesome because you can stay in a furnished landing home up to seven nights for free. Of course, it's subject to availability depending on where you're at, but you get seven nights for free per year. That's pretty cool. Also, you can get a membership with Landing. We actually got a membership. It's $199. It was just tacked on with our rent. Like when we did the rent for the five weeks, we would be in Birmingham. They also have a seven day promise. So say you move into your Landing home and you're just not happy for some reason. It's not what you expected. It's not what they made it out to be. You have seven days to decide if you wanna stay in that home. If not, you can speak to your Landing representative and they will help you find a new home that you're happy with. We have loved it so far. I'm so excited to show you this apartment because I have a feeling it's gonna blow you away. Keep in mind, we brought none of this. None of this is ours. The furniture, the beautiful chair in the living room, everything came with the apartment. Landing furnished it for us and they allow dogs. So we've had no issue with Maverick. This apartment is an awesome complex to be in if you have a dog. They have a dog park, walking trails, all the things. So, you guys ready? We're gonna go do an apartment tour. Let's go. I had to convince him to get off of his video games, so he's gonna hold the camera. <laughs> he's gonna hold the camera and we'll walk through and we'll show you our apartment. So the first thing when you walk in is the kitchen. It's a little bit bigger than what we're used to in the RV, so it's pretty nice to have a little more space. But it's pretty cool because it comes with all like the utensils from Keurig to toaster. It's a blender, so you know all the knobs you need. Even the salt and pepper shaker. We've got all of the goods here, and then we also our stocks. I have the dishwasher running right now, so we're a little low, but plenty of stuff. From any type of silverware, uh, bowls, cups, mugs, uh, any type of pans, uh, basically everything you would need to go about your day. Okay, so then we have the living room, and everything you see in here is exactly how we saw it when we walked in. Everything was completely furnished. We didn't provide any of this, except for this blanket, this is ours, and the PlayStation. But other than that, Landing furnished everything, and I just love it. I think it's so cute and cozy. What do you think? Even the TV. Oh, the TV is amazing. Check how big this TV is. And you could literally so turn it, probably. you could turn it almost 45 degrees left and right. So I could literally I see a clear picture from the kitchen whenever I'm cooking. Yeah, there we go. But it's awesome. So yeah. And Maverick's favorite space in the apartment is the balcony, which I'll open this. Come here, buddy. Come on. I love it so much out here. You gotta be quiet because people are outside. Come on. You can see the dog park off in the distance. Yeah, the dog park's like right through there. If you want to have your coffee out here and just chill. Maverick, you usually chill over there, don't you? <laughs> huh? Maverick loves it out here. But then, we get to show you the bedroom because it's pretty epic. This is the entrance to the bedroom. You have a cute little nook area here. We just keep a lot of <laughs> random baseball things, <laughs> my bag, you know, just some things. But here is the bedroom. It's a king size bed, so I am just over the moon. This is my pregnancy pillow. So you have Taylor's side on the left, my side on the right. You got a big window. The lighting is amazing in the morning, but again, everything you see in here besides pregnancy pillow, personal things, it was all furnished. We didn't have to bring anything except Nothing. for ourselves and clothes. Another great TV in here. Oh yeah. All so smart TVs too, so they all come with basically the pre-programmed channels into them. So nice, right Bubba? Netflix. Come on! Say hello! You love the king size bed? High five. 
Do you love it? Because we get to snuggle and we get to snuggle. Another thing that we didn't have in the RV, of course, was a bathtub. So I've been taking full advantage of this bath in here. I can see water on the door here because Taylor just wet his hair, shook it everywhere. It's on the mirror on the door, so just ignore that. But I love this big bathroom. Taylor's side, my side. It's just like everything. Oh, the towels. All of these towels that we have in here, toilet paper, what else do they give us? D laundry detergent, everything. Dish detergent. Shower curtains, everything. And we did not provide anything. All of the pictures on the wall. Cleaning supplies, vacuum cleaner. Yeah, amazing. So this is our shower, which is freaking amazing compared to what we had in the RV. No offense to the RV, we loved it. But you can't take a bath in the RV shower. And from the bathroom into the closet, it's pretty cool because we haven't really had a closet. Actually, we haven't had anywhere to hang clothes up since we've been in the camper. So it's pretty cool to have a lot of room to, you know, just hang up whatever we want, put our There's shoes wherever so we much want. room. I almost feel like I don't know what to do with all the room. Yeah. And uh, I guess for like a year and a half now, we've been having to go to the laundromat and use coins and dollar bills to pay for laundry. So it's pretty convenient having washer and dryer stuff. This is so convenient. It's so convenient to have this in the closet because we just can shut this door and do laundry yeah, at night. Vacuum cleaner, iron and board. Yeah, cleaning, vacuum cleaner. Cleaning we didn't bring that. They provided it. And it came with wireless internet, high speed internet too. Oh yeah. Can't forget about the internet. You can't. All right, guys, so that's it for our apartment tour here in Birmingham, Alabama. We love our landing apartment so much. We can't wait to stay in more in the future, and we will see you guys in our next video. I think it's gonna be a vlog. I think I'm just gonna vlog, like, day in the life, get back to the normal, fun, good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Bye. Okay, ooh, this lighting. It's a little yellow. Bing bop. All right, quick outfit check. Got the bump showing today. It ain't a bump, so there's a baby in there. Yeah, it's a bump. baby bump. You can't call my baby a bump. <laughs> it's a baby bump. That's what people call it. Hey, what well, was the, you should chill like a villain. With little lint rolling session. Why does everything you say have session? Session. Session. Yeah. You always say that. Do I say that a lot? With a little YouTube session. With a TikTok YouTube. session. Can you see my underwear when I do that? Yeah. You saw them. Can I get you? You're so cute. Oh uh, my uh, get you. You're so cute. Uh, uh. All right. Where are we going, boys? No, I muted it. <gasps> Who is it? I muted it. Who is it? You can Guess who's taking it. over? I'm gaming tonight. You're gonna be in the gulag every time. <laughs> what? The gulag. The gulag. Hello? Or when you die. <laughs> it wasn't working in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm here.